makes me think that this one really was a shooting. Lots of action going on. Pretty sure I shouldn't have passed that buck now. These western boys, that was a little chaotic. Let's go check them out. 130 CX bullets did work. Crazy. Fuck that, baby. Got the new Outfitter CX ammo. It's a monolithic bullet, 130 grain. We're gonna get her sighted in here. Gonna get the Glacier TI ready to go for some Midwest whitetail. What's With the Hornady boy, Seth, I'm coming for you. Their ammo with the CX bullet straight hammering. Man, hopefully this hunt's not as chaotic as that public shooting range. It's like getting ready to get down and shoot. Boom! It's like, <laughs> oh man. I don't know. The Glacier, the 65 PRC Glacier TI is shooting lights out. Uh, that new CX ammo with a stack of bullets on the bullseye, but then I'd have a flyer because of me, because I get, oh, just get startled with someone else shooting. So, wish everyone could have suppressors at the public shooting rings and we all wouldn't jump so much. But, anyway. Wanted to hear what kept. So I just got off the phone with Seth. He went out, checked out the property. He found a couple bruisers, mature bucks running around chasing does. So we got a game plan for the morning. I'm likely gonna sit the CRP in a box blind, which I know this is weird. Backcountry hunter, backpack hunter, to sit a blind is gonna be it's gonna be different for sure. But uh, we're gonna sit that CRP field and see if we can get a buck to come in. I'm excited, dude. Not really used to this, uh, but wow, this blind is nice. It's a redneck blind. This is what whitetail hunting's all about, huh? Once it gets lighter, we'll show you more details inside this blind. But apparently, we can see 360. We're a little noisy coming in. Hopefully, that doesn't matter too much. But here we go. Let's look for some whitetail. All right, people. He's broke on his right side. He's not quite mature. He's uh, probably a little young, a little broke. We'll keep hunting. We've been here for, it's only been shooting light for like 15 minutes. Freak turned white to the freak hole. Oh, someone shot. Cool. There's a couple white tail bucks around us. These little dinks, little dinkaroos. It's exciting to see some dinkaroos. This, this blind's pretty cool. They don't know you're here and you can talk and you can eat snacks. They don't even know you're here. He's just immature. Oh, we got a dandy back here. Really? Yeah. I just 
just I just glanced up over there and there's a pretty decent buck. I don't know, I mean I don't know how big he is, but definitely quite a bit bigger than any of these. It's a big it's a big buck, I don't know where he's at. So you see that yellow in the tree, you'll have to glass and see that. Just in front of that there's the doe and that's where he was, so he's gotta be right there. Oh yeah, that's him behind, see him? Yeah. He's definitely got big tines. I don't know if his main beams are that long. Huh? But you can see like his whole rack, he looks pretty decent. Dude, he's a good buck. I passed a young buck that um, had some really long tines, good main beams, but he just looked young. And and that was my first thought where, you know, this is a Hornady, quote unquote, uh, hunting piece. I wanted to do my best to, to manage, uh, to help Hornady manage mature deer. So I'm just like, you know what? I just don't, that's a stud, but I just don't think that's a mature buck. And I ultimately passed him. And then when he's kind of going away, I tried to stop him later on because I was like maybe I should shoot him you told me you're like man you made the good decision passing that buck he's young he's going to be an up-and-coming stunt in the next year or two so that made me feel really good yeah yeah you can usually tell on the on on a deer but with these white tails specifically uh when when he looks like an athlete in his prime when that buck looks like he is a a young stud athlete you let that buck walk because the bucks you want to kill are the ones that look like they used to be an athlete and now their belly's hanging a little bit and, and their neck's sagging and their face is gray. Uh, but yeah, you'd be definitely the right choice passing on that one. Pretty sure I shouldn't have passed that buck now. <laughs> Saw a couple other bucks, and this buck's quite a bit bigger than anything else. We saw him chasing on the other side, but... Oh, well. What do you do? Maybe a bigger one will come by. Maybe we won't. See, even see another one. You know, we saw a couple of coyotes come through. We wouldn't, those things are smart because I couldn't get them to stop. I definitely would have hammered a coyote. Yeah, they get, uh, they get things tossed at them pretty often. There was another buck that came in. He had a tight rack, a little heavier buck potentially. I, I'm just like, you know, I don't think that's a buck that I should shoot at either. And he was kind of way out there and I wanted to get a better look at it anyway. I was ran across the field. I think that might have been the buck from this morning. Not the big buck, but the other big buck. It's confusing at this point, but that m makes me think that this one really was a shooter now. That one I passed. Because this one's nice, but he's not as nice as that one. The other one had really long back tines. Lots of action going on. Yeah, uh, this 
Buck's chasing all the way across this cornfield and over into us. Too bad. It's not a big buck. It's exciting though. At least we're getting live action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, then all of a sudden, two bucks came chasing a hot doe, and both bucks were studs. Like, one was a young up-and-comer that he's heavy, but, he, but you can tell this buck I ended up killing. He was broke, had long tines, pretty decent mass, but you could tell he was just a handsome old buck and that he was a bruiser, he was mature. You know, he took it, he took it to this other buck. We actually got some unbelievable footage of them locking up on camera. In fact, he came, he comes to the blind and looks at us and kind of like a, a young roan stallion looks up and he had a ball of fur in his uh, antler. I don't know if you guys caught that, that he'd taken off the back end of that buck. Oh yeah, that's that's what it's all about. And those are the type of deer you're after, you know, and, and you know, headgear's cool and, and we all like big headgear, but there's there's more to it and there's part of a story where, you know, genetically, he might not ever be a 160 inch deer. He might never make Boone and Crockett ever just because, you know, that's that's the hand he was dealt. But that doesn't mean he's not dominant and he's not mature and he's not old and he, he's not respectable. And there's so many things that go into a, a trophy, you know, uh, to use air quotes. And when you've got minutes of footage of the baddest buck in the area eating the heck out of another buck, like that's that's cool. That was kind of what went into my thought process. In fact, when Peyton and I were setting up and I was making sure Peyton was on the, because we had plenty of time to set up, I was making sure Peyton was on the right buck. He was actually thinking I was going to shoot the other buck. Oh, okay. Be because they were both nice. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, no, 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 not that one, the broke one. He's like, you want the broke one? And typically we don't like shooting broke animals, but where that guy put on a display, he was obviously mature. Yeah. That buck had a story. Yep. And so, um, yeah, the, we're four hours into the hunt, so this all went pretty fast. two bucks fighting and rumbling around and he's a little bit broke but he's definitely a mature buck he's chasing the stone he's fending off other bucks and i sent a picture to seth and i asked him if he's a shooter he's like yeah i'd personally shoot that buck so i shot him <laughs> all right outfitter ammunition the new cx bullet <laughs> he's 
Midwestern boys, that was a little chaotic. Let's go check him out. Okay, so I decided I'm going to take this deer. So I pull up there, I'm like behind the shoulder. Let's see what this bullet does. So I shoot him, hard shot, pumps up. I was surprised at how well, I mean, it was like 150 yard shot, so super close, at how well that buck took that bullet. And he was, he was screwed from the beginning, if, if you will, like he was done. But I've always been, yeah, I've always been one to, if they're standing, Seth and I talked about this yesterday, I keep shooting until they're on the ground. Oh yeah, and that's the right thing to do for sure. You know, I think you'd have a hard time having anybody argue out of that, that if that animal's standing and you've already got a bullet in him, if he's standing, you put another bullet in him, and that's any animal, And because uh, it was about textbook as far as, well, you, we saw the damage when we cleaned him out. Like, yeah, there's no doubt there. One thirty CX bullet did work. You can see heart shot, that first shot was a heart shot. All right, guys, thanks for watching CRP Bucks. For this giveaway, we're going to weigh two boxes of Outfitter ammo. What you have to do to win, subscribe to the Muley Freak YouTube channel, like this video, and leave us a comment about your favorite part of this hunt. We will pick a winner in the upcoming weeks. Thank you.